guys, and this morning we are going to take a look at how the LEGO NXT 2.0 and how you can control it using your Android smartphone. So why don't you take a look at the NXT 2.0 and how it works. So the NXT 2.0 consists of, well, three basic, say, parts. The first one is this microcontroller here, which is like a small computer which takes input from the sensors, which I'll explain in a minute, and gives it to output to the motors, which are down here. So, first of all, the microcontroller you can program using your computer. It's got a built-in speaker, a USB and Bluetooth interface. Now, the USB is this classic female end over here. So, when I zoom in, it's that. That female end. Also, there are these RJ11 connectors. I don't even know if it's RJ11 or whatever, but it's like telephone style connectors here that connect up your sensors and motors. I put that back in. So the way this, so it comes with the software on the computer or even on the microcontroller itself to program the thing to do what you want it to do. So let me just run through some of the sensors available. So this is the ultrasonic sensor, comes in the box, it measures distance and uh, like perception basically, kind of how your where it is. It's not a camera, it just measures distance and depth of field, I guess. And there's this color sensor thingy over here, which has RGB. It's a color detector, or you can use it as a, a LED light. So why don't we look at the software? One second, let me zoom in. Okay, hopefully that's good. So I'm just gonna... I'm good. So, startup screen here. The weird sound. Ooh. That's better. How about that? Okay, so the first thing is my files, which stores the software files that you put on here from your computer or that you saved from an XT program, which is a basic programmer that is uh, in here, so pretty cool I guess. And XT data log, how you did it, and there's view, which I'm going to show you. So view, you have, it basically imports some data from uh, whatever you, whatever there is. So why don't we look at say color. Uh, I have it installed on port 3. So right now it sends, it automatically sends the color black for some reason. So. so right now it says it's red, mainly because the light reflected it is red. Because basically. So then if I put my phone in front of it, it'll say it's, it's green. So that's just how the view menu works. Why don't we go out of that? Oh, I almost forgot. At the top, you have your status bar, which shows your battery, your load. Ooh, ooh, we are getting out of focus again. How about now? That's better. Uh, your NXT's name and your Bluetooth status. And then this is the Bluetooth menu settings. And try me, which is basically like, kind of, do whatever you want. And so now we're going to get to the second part of the video, which is going to be controlling it with your phone. Do do. I tighten that. Okay. So let me put this to the side again. Let's turn on Bluetooth. Bluetooth. It takes a little bit. Better do this off camera. Okay, there's Bluetooth. So now I'm going to show you two apps. The first one is called Remote NXT, so let's just connect our robot first. Uh, 
As you see, I'm a big fan of green. Give it a second, would you? Okay. This is taking a while. Maybe I should reset the app. One second. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop the video and come back once I have this connected. Okay? Okay, so I have the robot connected up. So as you see on this first app, which is called Remote NXD, the first screen you have is a joystick. It's just a... Your random old analog joystick. Then you have your arrow keys of the speed slider, so you can make it go halfway. Just more precision you get. Then your sensors, so as you see I have them already set up here. So, as you see you have your various... Whatever. So your distance, if you have the ultrasonic thing, so I put my hand right in front of it and it says... Or does it say 255? See, it's 23, 22. So then, you have, so then you have a little bit of basic programming options. Well, when distance is less than 30, you can command it to turn left, stop, or turn around, or whatever. When the touch sensor is pressed, you can say whatever, and when color detected is whatever color you want, do that. So that is the first step, which is called Remote NXT. I recommend it, but just there's no action motor control, so if you're built to shoot a bot like me, you can't be able to shoot with this app. Otherwise, it's pretty great. Hopefully the developer gets my advice. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is called NXT Remote. Let it connect first. This one does take a little bit to connect. So the first thing you have are some arrow keys, just like the other one. This one tends to apply power a little more quickly. Just this is very basic, so this is just the regular arrows. Then you have the touchpad, which kind of looks like this. I parallel parked it using this touchpad. Then you have your tank controls, which is just the two motors, B and C. Then you have your three motor controls, which is my favorite, mainly because you have the ability to use the middle motor and shoot, which is pretty cool because I have a shooter bot. That's pretty nice, and you also have the ability to, say, do the tank controls. So yeah, that has been my review of the, not exactly review, but technically overview type thing, of the LEGO NXT 2.0, and this is me, Chaos Talk 4, signing out.